Let's start the first method under risk and analysis. We'll be starting as a risk adjusted discount rate. It's also called as risk adjusted cutoff rate. Now, when we start risk analysis and capital budgeting, keep into account as NPV is the method you need to take a keep as base. So whatever you take into consideration, NPV method is to be taken. We won't tell you. You know, NPV is to be followed and to NPV method, we we'll make small changes here and there. For example, when you're starting with risk adjusted discount rate, they won't tell you keep NPV, do NPV as you normally do, present value of cash inflow minus present ca value of cash outflow. Just make a small adjustment to the method you are studying. Be any method you cover. You cover probability, you cover certainty coefficient, you cover risk adjusted, decision tree, whatever. Keep into account that NPV is the base you need to take into consideration. Now, for example, if I say risk adjusted discount rate method, which we are going to start in this method of risk premium will be given to us. Now, what happens? We know one thing, higher the percentage you take, the amount becomes less, right? So higher the discounting rate, the amount becomes less. So risk premium is to be adjusted in a discounting rate. For example, if I say discounting rate is 10% and risk premium is 2%. So what will I do? Instead of discounting at 10%, I'll be discounting at 12% and do a problem. Automatically, your inflows and outflows amount will become less and your NPV will reduce. So when you're accepting and rejecting projects based on NPV, keep a small basis for your risk factor depending on what method you are taking into consideration. Now we are starting with risk adjusted discount rate. So what we do, do NPV as we do inflow minus outflow. When we are discounting as such, we will just take into account as a premium factor also. How do we do it? Let us do a small illustration and see. Now, two alternative investments are available X and Y costing 1,50,000 each. Sorry, 15 lakh each. Cash inflows are expected to be as follows. They have given you for the cash inflows for project X and project Y. Now, one project requires 60, 45, 35 and 30,000. Similarly, project Y requires 65,000, 55,000, 40,000 and 40,000. Now, the given return on capital is 10%. Risk premium is 2% and 8% for X and Y. Which investment should be preferred? Now, they won't tell you which method to follow. We should know when we are doing risk analysis, what do we do? We do NPV method. So, when we are doing NPV method, what we need is a discounting rate to find present value of cash inflow and present value of cash outflow. The discounting rate is 10%. X discounting risk premium is 2%. Y it is 8%. So, what I will do? Do NPV as you normally do. So, X instead of discounting at 10%, I will be discounting at 12%. Y instead of discounting at 10%, I will be discounting at 18%. That will be the only difference. And you select based on NPV, but just changing the percentage. Because we know higher the percentage, the amount becomes less. So, your NPV will become less for selection purpose in short. How do we do it? Let us do this small illustration. Let's start with project X. What I'll do now, instead of discounting at 10, I'll be discounting at 12%. So, if you do 1 divide by 1.12 or you use a present value table, get present value factors of 0 0.893, 0 0.797, 0 0.712, 0 0.635. Inflows are given to you 60, 45, 35, 30,000. Multiply what do we get present value of cash inflows. When you multiply how much do you get? 53,580, 35,855, 24,920 and 19,050. If you add up you get is the total present value of cash inflow for X which you get 1,33,415. Now, what will be the NPV? Inflow minus outflow. Present value of cash inflow is 1,33,450. Outflows are how much? 1,50,000. So 1,33,450 minus 1,50,000 will give you how much? A negative NPV. Negative NPV of how much? 16,585. Do it for Y. It means X has to be rejected. Negative NPV means what? You reject a project as we discussed under NPV method. Now go to project Y. Project Y when you are doing is of discounting at 10% will be discounting at 18%. So you'll get a factors of 0 0.847, 718, 0 0.609 and 0 0.516. Multiply with your inflows. Inflows are given to you, you can see 65,000, 55, 40,000 and 40. Multiply and just work it out. So first when you multiply 85,000 into 0 0.847, how much you get? 71,995. Continue. 39,490. 24,380 and last 0.516 into 40,000 if you do, how much you get? 20,000 into 640, right? How you use present value concept will remain the same. How do you use a present value table? Future value into discounting factor, that's what I have done. Present value of cash and flow, how much you get? 1,56,485. 
right? Minus the outflow. Outflow is how much? One lakh fifty thousand. So one lakh fifty six thousand four eighty five minus one lakh fifty thousand will give you a positive NPV. The six thousand four eighty five. Now tell me which project will you select? X or Y? We'll be selecting this Y project because Y has a positive NPV over here as such. Negative NPV we reject. Positive NPV accept. Of all the projects have a positive NPV, higher the NPV we accept, and that is how you do risk adjusted discount rate method. The first method under risk and analysis. So risk analysis when we start up as a sell, you keep NPV as a base, and according to the method, you make changes to the NPV method in short. 